Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what is in my baby's diaper bag that I'm bringing to the hospital. It's almost that time. Um, I only have a few weeks left. I'm 35 weeks tomorrow. And I am so excited, but a little nervous. And this time I wanted to be totally minimalist with what I brought to the hospital. I honestly don't even remember what I brought last time, but I knew it was too much. So let's begin. I'm bringing this diaper bag from Target. It's from the Vineyard Vines collection. It was just, um, just oh, dropped everything. It just uh, landed at Target in May, I think like May 18th. And I forgot all about it. Like I didn't get up to order like I usually will. I'll get up, order what I want, like I did for the Hunter Boots collection. And I usually don't have problems like with it selling out, but I set an alarm and I forgot about it. So it was there the next day though. So I could um, order it online and it came a few days later. So thank God for that because this is the one I wanted. It was only $45, which is honestly pretty good price. It's like sturdy. It's a backpack type one. It comes with the clips that I took off for the stroller. It has like an insulated um, part right here for like, you know, bottles, milk. And then it has a bigger pocket everything else is actually has all my sun stuff in it right now so but it comes with this diaper changing pad which I love it's got the cute little vineyard vines whales on it so precious I love it you're obviously not a mom if you don't get excited about diaper changing pads but yeah and they have like extra pockets and everything in there so it's pretty nice I was a little skeptical, but I love it. So I'm very excited to use that. Soon it will carry both my son's and Sailor's stuff in it. But right now we're just using it for Jackson. He loves it. He calls it a pack pack, which is so cute. So yeah, anyway, this time, since I've given birth before, I know I don't need diapers. I don't need wipes. I don't need formula. Yeah. Anyway, before I was interrupted because Blippi turned off. Blippi. Oh my god. If you're a parent, you hate him slash love him. Like, thanks for keeping my son entertained, but your voice is so annoying. Sorry. Anyway, so I know that they supply you with diapers, wipes. Um, they give you like a swaddle blanket, but... I don't really like that one that much, so I'll bring my own. Um, and formula. I am formula feeding again. My own personal decision. I feel like a lot of moms come for people who don't breastfeed their children, and that's just unnecessary to me. Like, I could not care less what other people do with their children. So, yeah, keep that negativity away from me. Jackson's fine, and I breastfed him. Anyway. So I don't need any of those. Um, obviously I will have some for when I come home, like all set up and ready. And um, last time I used the Target brand formula, which I believe in so much, I love it. Um, honestly, I learned in one of my classes in college that lots and lots of baby formula has um, sugar hiding under different names like glucose, maltodextrin, um, and I don't believe that children need that in their formula. So I love, love, love a target formula. It doesn't include any of that. Um, Enfamil does have some types of sugar in there. I forgot which types, but I went on like a crazy ingredient looking at like spree on all the different formulas. And I used the target powdered formula for Jackson too. It really worked for him. He, he, we never had problems. I mean, he would spit up once in a while. That's what kids do. 
but everything else is perfect and it's half the price of the other um, the other formulas like Enfamil is crazy so yeah she'll probably start on Enfamil at the hospital because they come in the little tubes like the ready made tubes and after that we're going to Target so anyway for the point of this video I'm going to show you the things I've just I've decided to pack for Sailor's birth and I haven't packed my own bag yet I'll make that a separate video because that one will be more difficult a lot more difficult so I'm going to pack some of her binkies this one is the Wubbanub horse it's so cute I die I love these little Wubbanubs with like the animal attached Jackson had some my little sister had some and I have the horse one and I have an elephant one but I'm trying to be minimalist, so I'm just going to bring one and then a couple of just these. Okay, next. This is really unnecessary, so. But they're so cute. When we were at Disney World, Mason and I bought this little rattle. We didn't know what the gender was at that point. So cute. It's like one of the 101 Dalmatians. And then it has a little lanky with a character on it so it's like a little matching set and I just think it'll look cute in pictures so so cute oh, die okay for outfits I'm bringing a couple pairs of socks of course I'm bringing this bib I'm only bringing one I don't I'm trying to be minimalist it says stay magical which I'm filming on my iPhone right now, so that's why it looks like it's in a different language. It's super cute though, I got like a pack, and it has little whiskers, which I think are so cute. I think I got this at um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and the brand is Chickpea, which is super cute. Um, okay, so I think I'll be taking her home in this outfit. Where did the hat go? Okay. This little bunny outfit, which is so cute. It has these, um, like built-in mittens, and I like that a lot. It's so cute with the pink. This is from Carter's. It has a little pocket, which is cute. Obviously, Sailor has no um, items <laughs> yet, but I don't even remember what I was talking about. Okay, I think I was talking about this. It came with socks, which I already showed. And it also came with this bunny hat, which is cute. But I also have another bunny hat from Jimboree. So precious. So I'm going to bring this for pictures. For cute purposes, for precious, precious purposes. I'm also gonna bring like two sleepers. So I got these as Saks. Um, the brand is PL baby I don't even know but they were cute so it says you are my magic once again it's flipped because of what um, I'm filming on which I could not find my SD card so whatever and also this was in the set with it it just has moons and stars and it is so cute and that's newborn size also and also, I might bring this. I just got it from Target a few days ago. It was, you can kind of see, it's like they're, here, it's reflecting. It was on clearance for $3. And it's usually $10. So I was like, it was cute. And she won't fit in a newborn for very long. So I figured it was perfect. Also, I'm bringing my own swaddle. I bought a bunch of the Aiden. Aiden and Anai swaddles. I used those for Jackson when he was a little tiny bug. So I'm just going to bring this plain white one. I still have one of the ones I used for Jackson three years ago, basically. And it is so soft still and I love it. So I just, I love their stuff. It's all organic, it's so soft. It gets softer every time you um, wash it, how can you go wrong? 
I mean, I know they give you one of those hospital blanket, receiving blanket swaddle things, but I think this is so much more comfortable. And I'm only bringing one because I'm trying to be simple. This is her blanket. Ooh, so soft. Love it. It's like a cream. I got this at TJ Maxx as well. I just love it so much. I can't stop cuddling it. And I saw another YouTuber talk about how she was going to, like before she had her son or whatever, she was going to sleep with the blanket. So it had her and her husband's scent on it. And I think that's so cute. So I'm going to do that as well. I love this. Definitely, I got it at TJ Maxx. I can't remember how much I paid. I like tore off all the tags. But it is Ma Lapin. It's like a French brand, meaning my bunny, my rabbit. So yeah, I've never heard of them either, but this was cute. TJ Maxx has basically everything I could ever want, including Marshalls, Marshalls does too. And I think that might be it for what I'm going to bring her for the hospital. As long as it's a natural birth, no complications, she doesn't have to stay in the NICU, this is going to be perfect. Then we can have as What? Why are you hiding? There's a baby coming. There's no baby coming. Come here, sit. Mommy. Okay. Anyway, as long as there is Yeah. I'm filming a video. Anyway, as long as there's no complications, this should be the perfect amount of stuff for us. I do feel like I'm forgetting for something my from my list. What? For my backpack. Yeah, it's fine. It's your. I know. It's got your stuff in it. Mommy, go in there. How about you leave it? Jackson, stop. So, yeah. I'm going to make. Yeah. Why? What else? Babies. Yeah, this stuff's for the baby. I'm going to make another video very soon when I finally pack my hospital bag, which I definitely should be doing. I also should have the car seat and base in my car installed already since I'm basically 35 weeks. Jackson came, like I went into labor at 36 and a half, had him at 37. So I really should get on there. But my baby shower is in a week and a half, so excited for that can you say bye 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 say see bye guys bye guys see you later see you later say please subscribe to my channel i know very cute i get down yeah you can get down